Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Why did you stop? But how the hell did you catch that? What the hell? It just fell into his hands. and didn't even go up for it. This doesn't, don't give me that DK mouth. That's it. <laughs> Levante David, linebackers play good coverage too. Hey, Levante David. That was good coverage over the middle. That's how to shut down the drag slants. The dollar three two shut Oh God! Big man out front. All right, hold on. And turn it into positives moving forward. They go play action now with McSorley. Ooh! Ooh! Hey, that could be considered a flag too if you think about it. Whoa, big tank. On second down, it's Taylor. Taylor's got the first down and more. The 40. 20. Cremo on power. You sent guts in my fucking... Me bringing Derek Henry over to Big Tank, blocked your outside defensive end, and Taylor was gone. The quick strike touchdown. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going. So their second touchdown of this first half, they went for two after score number one, didn't get it. Now they get the equalizer, so to speak. So to speak, and you can understand the thinking. Because they didn't get it after the first score, they wanted to get back to a normal points pattern, get up to 14. But just think if they missed it here, they're only up 12 to nothing. One extra point on the other side could ultimately beat you if they score twice. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. Oh, yeah, good hit. So, decent-sized deficit early on. Hey, if, is, but I think you to be honest, Roni, if I could have came up with that corner and I didn't fuck my nickel, I could have just fucking picked that. But or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Escaping the oh, shit, yeah, that's picked. Never mind. Good coverage, though, Tyron Matthew. Me, this is me and Roni's third start to our game. It's fucking... Oh my god! That could have been picked! Levante David get his second pick. Anyways, Riley, there's three minutes, six seconds left in the second quarter. Um, me and Roni got to halftime, our first start, but then it lagged out. So. Uh, it lagged out on the kickoff. <laughs> It, it, squid, it, squid can back me up. It was like the whole league just lagged out. Here's Mon. They're going for it. Whoa! No! He's got it. It's lagging. Oh God! No, dude. Fourth and ten. I gotta have that pick. Get, mm, I should have picked out Levante David. Should have picked out Levante. Oh, God, now it's starting to lag a little bit. Oh, God. Please don't. Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. No, he got out of the end zone. He's going to be yes. He came out of the end zone. So the decision to go for two does not pay off as they're unable to cut any further. Oh, my God. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Roman Ward, my rookie quarterback, out, running back out of Ole Miss. All right. Vikings now to start their next drive. They're starting to put some space here. You know, first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they've looked really good. Cremo! As long as he bases this guy. Yeah! 
trying to and he'll get into the end zone touchdown minnesota derrick henry with his second touchdown. i'll actually kick it this time i only went for two last time because i'm a dumbass and i had to make up for my miss all right connor here's the ball back and the lead is up to 15 now after the touchdown here's mcmanus now to kick it away No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. <clears throat> Trips right. On first and ten, here's Mon. Good coverage, Levante David. Pick of the game probably should yeah, he have probably should have had his third pick of the game because he should have picked out one on third down last time. Great coverage by the fucking Vikings defense right now. Purple people leaders, baby. Let's go. Oh, Kellen Mond's in trouble. Kellen Mond's in trouble. Kellen Mond's in trouble. Okay, one yard pass. That's fine. He, well, he was scrambling and GK Metcalf came back and on a comeback because there's the only thing open. He got a one yard pass. <laughs> Able to keep the quick pass Connor's going spread again. Right the line of scrimmage. I'm gonna throw it. Yeah! Let's go, Varys! I found out a way to stop your short passes, Roni. Let's go, Jason Verrett! Interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. All right, guys. A bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he'll get two or three out of that one. Is that is going to I got Ethan Stick, Trace McSorley, and Ben DiNucci. Position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Got Trace McSorley playing this game. Yo, Connor. Whoa, big tank. They'll look to run with Taylor. One yard line, fuck. Now Connor's sirens are gonna come on. Whoa, big tank. All right, Ronnie, you have the ball back. I wanted Jason Fred to take that back for a pick six, but... Okay, but my defense is playing... My defense is playing well, though. return this from deep in the end zone. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think Half-back draw, eh? Good tackle, Levante. Five yards, but shit. That could have been worse. Because I was guessing pass there. Offenses that you face, and analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Good, Chris. Boy, Chris Harris. Fuck. Chris Har I know Chris didn't have enough time to react while he's dropping to his zone. So here's a first and ten at the 38. They'll get that to four. Stop him. This offense gonna elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining. In Let's get a quick two. pass. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play. Of the he can get a quick half. pass and then somehow get into field goal range, but he has to run down the field. And that five seconds, I don't think it's enough time. 
Oh, he caught it. <clears throat> Not gonna have time to show a timeout though. You were at the 40 yard line though. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports halftime report. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And the first half definitely went their way. And this Whoa, tank. Go, Jonathan. But kind of JT. A closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're okay. playing it. That's how they're I have zero it. passing yards. Connor has 156. <laughs> has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Whoa, Jonathan Taylor out wide. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Kind of that, that's just wasting one of your timeouts. In the second half. I'm still going to run it here anyway. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go okay. get the first down. That's exactly what they do. Whoa, big tank. Taylor. Oh, good tackle by whoever that was, because that would have been Cribbo. 15 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. He had a really solid first half running the football. Not bad. Two touchdown runs for Jonathan Taylor and Derrick Henry. They both are averaging over 10 yards per carry, so can't really complain. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle. Okay. Someone. Connor, you might want to run goal line again, honestly. Huh. Now Taylor. Cribbo! Three touchdown runs, Jonathan Taylor. Engage eight. <laughs> Three for Jonathan Taylor, two for Derrick Henry. Go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one. Four play drive. It took two minutes, 18 seconds, 75 yards. His own game of can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. From deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And only able to get this to the 19. Man, take your knee. Be Colin Kaepernick. You get three. Yeah, all right. Their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime, they went oh, through some draw. changes. Oh, halfback draw. Damn, Leonard Fournette just straight up ran over my fucking guy. I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is... Just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. On first down, here's Mon. Left side complete to Lockett. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Hand off to Fournette. And he'll be Good tackle, Chris. Just shy of midfield. 
Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Uh, we're two minutes, 15 in the third. They're going to look to throw. And Woods has it complete. And this is going to turn yeah. into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 39. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Good tackle, Chris. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Still, we cannot allow five yards. Press his ass. They'll drop to throw. Fuck! Damn it, Chris. Get him. Oh, should have played inside leverage on him. As the tackle is made at the Vikings 18. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. From the red zone now, they'll look to... Good hit! Oh, he dropped it. Wait, Marcus May. indicative of the way this one's going. I do like my safeties. Second and 10. Back to the air, Mon. Ah, drop faster, Harris. Good tackle, though. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. Damn it. That makes things really difficult. And the Jags are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Sort of interesting going with a draw play there. Do you like that call? I don't, but it would be a lot more powerful coming from me if I'd said it before the play actually happened, if I'd first guessed it. But look, a draw. Fuck. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Leonard Fournette with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jaguars get Ooh. a score closer. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play you would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. Damn, he actually ran it when it ran 60 base. But he will find the end zone again. So he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion, and that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Ah, Trace McSorley and Travis Kelsey! At the 40, past the 20. Touchdown, Vikings. Travis Kelsey, his first touchdown on the year. Whoa! Vikings are able to Connor, you went back to goal line. Final seconds of this third 60 out, Jax. Well, it did cover the two flat routes, but Travis Kelsey was open. That, what a way to end that third quarter. I scored 28 points in the second quarter. It's 42 to 14. I scored 28 of the points in the second quarter. Scored 14. Another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one. Though. God damn it! Yes, intentional grounding. That's even better than a sack. Performance from start to finish. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. Well, I have a revised team, Squid. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. In this defense, it's designed to stop Connor's offense or style of offense. Check down, slants, scrambling. He'll look to throw. He'll lock it with a grab over the middle. All right, Connor, back to the 25. He stopped at the 25. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. 
Kellen Mond's having a rough day at the office. I had zero passing yards until I threw that 75-yard touchdown with Trace McSorley. Where's the dog? Uh, Try it here. He's back to throw. Flush to his right. Good way to knock that shit out. Way to knock that shit out. Wait till we have two guys out right there in that zone. Let's go. And the Vikings, they have the football now in excellent field position. They'll run on first down. Hit Jordan loose, I guess. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they Whoa, this big this tank. In training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, he stayed home. Sure He's tackling. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 181 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now a first and 10 at the 11. The give to Taylor. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. I don't run out the clock now. I'm just trying to get some plays in. I got Corey Clement in now. Might put Easton stick in, but ah, no, Trace McSorley's had a good game, though. What if you're a pretty good running team? If Trace McSorley's had a phenomenal game. You better believe I'm giving it to him again, Toddy. Three touchdowns for Derrick Henry, three touchdowns for Jonathan Taylor, and one passing touchdown from Trace McSorley to Travis Kelsey. Not a bad day. Streak is going to extend another week. McManus's point after is good, and the lead will swell by one more. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and ten. Under pressure. Whoa, Javian Clowney! Javian Clowney. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. A lot of ground to cover. Second and 22. Another try after the first down sack. Mon flushed out right. Picked. Oh, okay. Well, he knocked it out. Incomplete, and their struggles continue here. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and forever. Intercepted for the third time thus far. Chris Harris, baby. After so many deflections and missed drops, the zone he finally gets the interception you needed. Tight ends out there, a jumbo package look. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of a Cover three, Sky. Up the first. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the <laughs> of course. thinks. They like they've got the <gasps> no, he fumbled! Oh! <laughs> Damn it, Jonathan Taylor fumbled. Aaron Donald finally did something. Well, there's your Aaron Donald for you, Connor. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target. And a boy, Levante! He stopped! For the fourth time today. Oh my God! Levante David tips the pass right into Jadavian Clowney's hands. Pick six. Now remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone. No, is that an okay stats? Run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. Boom. They treat it like they're not bad. De about time the defense got a touchdown. Extra point from the if Chris Barrett would have ran it back, fuck, my defense would have been oh, fucking keeping up with Connor's offense. Turn this from deep in the end zone. All right. 
Let's see if Kellen Mond can redeem himself. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Oh, draw. Let's Shit. See if they can get things back on track. Yeah, that's what's worse for you. Two minute warning. Oh, never mind. We're going timeouts here. Your dad failed. No, not November. Yes, Squid. I we know. <laughs> oh, that's picked. That's picked. Tyron Matthew, baby. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And we are inside of two minutes left in this line. Jesus Christ, man. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. There's Aaron Donald. Oh no, I'm not even sure if it was. Oh, pinch dog, that's why I couldn't get the outside. A gain of three. So I, I gotta cut back to if I ran power there and ran big tank, I probably could have got to the outside for a touchdown. This is pinch. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three yard gain. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Hit Derrick Henry. Henry out wide. And they got it inside the 10. Trace McSorley, two for three, 91 yards and a touchdown. His two completed passes are 75 yards and 16 yards. Whoa, big tank. Cut back, damn it, my fat ass lineman got in the way. I would have fucking cut back into the end zone. Alright, I think since my defense has a touchdown, a passing touchdown, I think Jonathan Taylor has done enough for today. Actually, yeah, we'll get Jonathan Taylor for Derrick Henry can three. Sorry, Derrick Henry. They were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't that? Field goal block, eh? Fourth, he's the hot hand. Fuck, so I'll still run it. The hot feet in this situation. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. <clears throat> this thing is ugly. Just I'll go for two. Should I go for two to go up by 50? I'll go for two to so I can go up by 50. Yeah, and then we'll call it there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Got it! Yeah! Derek fucking Henry! After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. All right, Connor's going to return, not go Colin Kaepernick mode. Great tackle. Ah, uh, the Dallas had enough for today. We'll come out in the 46. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. Tyron Matthews got X Factor. Dancing to his left. Oh, shit. Kellen Mond's actually going to run. Fuck. Near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. Four net. Something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Seventeen seconds. They'll look to throw here. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, DK caught that. He got his feet down. He did not get his feet down. Kellen Mond, 17 for 30, 238 yards, two touchdown passes, and five interceptions. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw. Now a desperate pick that Tyron Matthew. Ah! All right, let's take a shot deep with Trace McSorley, and we'll call it a day. Thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also, what happens when you get a bit of a deficit? You're supposed to. Uh, Levante David tipped out with Ben DiNucci. All right, fine. No, I want to eat. No, Trace McSorley and Ben DiNucci have saw the game. No, Easton Stick. Let's go. Hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline. Easton Stick. Let's go. First throw for the backup quarterback, eluding the pressure right. Catch that shit. Oh. Good game. But now this game is over. 
Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about 